Hello, we're here at the Oakland Schools with my guest here, Rosalind Gold on Wood She's all over the map with the NBA and the Warriors right now. Came out of Stanford, ball player there, played in a couple Final Fours, and now you're doing everything you can with the Warriors and just all college basketball in the Bay Area. What does it feel like at this point? Um, I'm just happy to be working with uh, great teams, great organizations, companies. I'm just thankful. You know, I remember a point when I was maybe doing one work gig every three and a half weeks, just at a crossroads of saying, can I do broadcasting anymore? And then just a hard work, sometimes doing things for free in this business, just getting a foot in the door and gradually step by step. Um, and there's more steps to take, but now to just say, hey, this is a full-time gig, a full-time job. They say luck is when opportunity meets preparation. I'm sure there's a lot of preparation behind the scenes that we don't see. What can you tell us a little bit about? At this point in my career, I'm learning a lot of different roles. So roles that I've done normally is like an analyst for games as a color commentator. So you're about to talk for uh, about two and a half hours, three hours, about two teams. I do some hours and hours of preparation, especially on the collegiate level where stories are more important. This kid took an internship. How did this kid grow since last season? Speak to coach, watch practice, ask for videotape, uh, go to shoot around. So that's a long time. The sideline role is a different type of role, which I'm doing for the Warriors, where it's much more on the spot and you've got to react a lot and you just have to be prepared for what could happen. Understand both teams that are walking on the court, the, the storylines, um, and building rapport is so key so that those guys will talk to you and trust you with that information. And the last role that's newest to me now is hosting. And um, just learning how to read off of a teleprompter. <laughs> you know, when I first started reading off of a teleprompter, you could tell, you know, so. Um, and then script writing is a big part of that as well. So uh, obviously to reach these heights, you had to set some goals. How do you set goals? How do you attain those goals? Um, well, every year I assess what I did, you know, what could, what was, what I did well, what could use work, um, and then set new goals and small on a small scale, short vision, short term vision, and then a long term vision as well. And I, I actively check in on them. Um, you know, for me coming out of college, ball was some, I've been playing ball since I was four and I'm from New York. You can hear it when I say <laughs> ball, but, um, I wasn't sure what the next step was. For female athletes, if you're not in the WNBA, a big piece of your career is gonna be overseas. Wasn't sure if that was it, but I wanted to be close to the game. And this is my way of keeping close. You know, For some, it'll be on the corporate side, marketing, advertising, whatever, talking about the game, studying, reading, researching. I wake up excited every day to do this. So what are the biggest challenges that you have on a daily basis? Well, at this point, working ahead, um, staying organized because now I do have a daily work schedule. Every day something is happen and happening and now with the Warriors, um, you know, there's a lot of travel all over the country. So staying ahead, organization, um, you know, at this point it's just continuing to get more reps. It's like shooting. I think now I feel like I'm finally gotten, after this is my fourth year now, I've finally gotten past the point of being overwhelmed by the broadcast itself. I know what's coming next, I know what to expect, so now I can relax and be myself, and the studying that I did, it comes out. And then lastly, obviously the Warriors are number one team in the, in the NBA right now. You just started with them, do you have a little lucky charm, or are you the one that, that got them to this level? Well, this is the Rosgo era, <laughs> and uh, the Warriors have been doing well <laughs> in the Rosgo era. No, um, you know, people keep asking me, how's it going, and I'm like, <laughs> well, you know, what more could I ask for, you know? Um, it's just been a magical ride. And I feel like everyone in the organization is just kind of not trying to get too excited. You know, we're all saying, okay, well, it's still early. You know, that was a good, you know, Clay 37 in the third quarter. Okay, not, let's not get excited, you know, but you're just, it's just been magical. It's been more than I could have ever asked for. I'm so thankful. These guys are easy to speak to. They are professionals. They're respectful. Um, they take it seriously. They take me seriously. Um, the team is winning. Everything is a little bit better when the team is winning. And it's as a basketball fan and player, I enjoy watching them. Coach Kerr is was a broadcaster, and he's like always happy to help and 
give it, just very open. My broadcasting crew doesn't ignore me when I do a hit. Sometimes that happens to sideline reporters. Instead, they engage, and it's their synergy. So, um, you know, producers give me feedback. I'm in a really healthy organization, and I'm thankful. Well, thanks a lot for your time. We really appreciate it. So do you still have some skills? You still shaking them up on the court a little bit? I did see you one time shooting around uh, with one of the Warriors there on your, on your program. Uh, you, you still play it all? Absolutely. I'm at the rec center. I'm at Stanford practice courts. Uh, I'm still working on my skills. It's basketball, kickboxing, and soul cycle right now for me. Okay, great. And at, we're here at the Get Fit, so obviously that's really important for these youth too. What does it mean for you to give back to these youth and see the Oakland schools? Well, I just like being around kids. You know, I do the WNBA in the summer as well, and Swin Cash is here from the New York Liberty. That's the team I cover. And Swin, we're often at events like this all summer long. This is my first time doing it with the Warriors and in, in the Oakland school communities. These kids have had great energy. You know, they're, they're having fun. They're raising their hands. They're, they're engaging, interacting. They're smart. Um, and they're excited about this day. And I think seeing people like Stephen Curry and Swin Cash and Gary Payton, I mean, some of them weren't alive from when Gary Payton was, but their parents will appreciate that. It, it, it makes this real, and it makes it important and cool. And for kids, you know, cool goes a long way. <laughs> All right, well, thanks a lot for your time. We're here with Roz, signing off from ITF. Yeah.